So as you saw, that was pretty cool. They have a whole fridge dedicated to camera film rolls that are inside. This is the first floor of Sammy's. A lot of film stuff here that you can buy to develop your own film. In this aisle, there's a whole bunch of canisters that of course you would use in developing your own film. At first, when I walked in, I did not know where to go. I couldn't find the cameras. You actually have to take an elevator to go to the second, third, and fourth floors. The second floor is Sammy's camera repair, as you can see. And the third floor, as you can see on the sign here, is where you see all the latest mirror lens and DSLR cameras, even some video stuff. Hey everyone, made it to Sammy's camera. I'm here at a vintage section. Very interesting cameras that they have here. It's Mickey Mouse, 1963 Japan. Film camera. Hello Kitty, 1976 Japan. Dr. Pepper can camera. Very interesting section here. A lot of vintage cameras. Actually looking for a new camera bag because I got a Mac Pro 16 inch. Third floor, like a section. Canon, mic on its way in. Fujifilm and Tex, camera bags in the middle. Here you see some really nice used Leica gear. That was the Nautilux F1. Here's the Leica MP240 Safari Edition, Leica M10P, and even the Leica M8 was there used. And this is the camera that I used to have over a decade ago. In the center of the third floor is a lot of camera bags, everything from Tamrag to Think Tank. And they even had a sign for Ona, ONA, but I didn't see any bags on the shelves for sale. I was close to getting a Peak Design Everyday Backpack 30 liter, uh, but decided to hold off. Here is the Sony booth. As you can see, there's Panasonic, Olympus, and Pentax. Very helpful service. Here's the Olympus and Sigma. Way down there is the Canon. I was able to try out an RF uh, macro lens, 85 millimeter macro lens. Canon, uh, they have samples of uh, their print uh, work there that you can do with the Canon printer. And overall, the third floor is probably the main place a lot of people uh, want to be. Let me know, Sammy has a fourth floor. Cinema works. Cinema works. Here at HBO Location. Location upstairs. Thumbs up. So that was my daughter Allison. She is six years old now. We are at the fourth floor and a lot of studio equipment, a lot of studio lights, really nice uh, space if you're into uh, cinematography. And what's kind of weird is the fourth floor has the, they call it pro cameras, and that's the medium format digital cameras. So I was kind of surprised to actually see that they have a phase one there, as I'm going to show you uh, soon. And I guess this is called CinemaWorks, uh, the fourth floor. So here's phase one, not too much inventory. The next way you have the Hasselblad, uh, GFX Fujifilm, and to the left, you actually see Red Camera. And Red Camera was actually pretty busy. There was a lot of people getting some gear um, after about 10 minutes of me being there. So I was able to uh, ask uh, the person there uh, if they had a GFX 50S Mark II to try. And by the way, um, here is the lighting setup and my wife was using the lighting to try to take uh, pictures with the um, her iPhone. So there it is, a GFX 50S Mark II, uh, Hasselblad cabinet. I was more focused on the GFX and they still have the Pentax 645Z there and I was surprised that they did have it. I uh, remember I um, used to use the 50R, I reviewed, I reviewed that on the channel, and a JFX 50S Mark II. Uh, I was able to try it out, and uh, subscriber Roseman4, uh, Dennis, he asked me to try this out and said it was pretty good for IBIS, so I did try it out. It feels really solid, um, but I just didn't really like the blackout times. And here's Allison just messing around, uh, my wife taking the photos. I messed around with the lenses there. 
Uh, so here we are on our way to the Leica store, which is about 10 minutes away from Sammy's. It is in West Hollywood. And I just wanted to see what kind of camera bags um, that they have there. And if you didn't know, uh, they do have their own parking to the right side of the building. Uh, there's no meters at all, so you don't have to pay. Here we are inside the Leica store LA and gallery. Pretty nice space on the first floor and the second floor is a gallery. But on the left side, this is where you have like the t-shirts and camera bags. And the nice lady there, Amari, she was helping me out. And the only bag that can fit my MacBook 16 inch laptop, as you can see here, is the Oberworth Richard 2. And this is the uh, Leica edition, the Red Dot edition, and it has the red interior. They even sell used uh, Leica gear there as well. <laughs> There's Allison jumping up. I didn't really get a close look at the prices, but as you go further down, they have the new like M11 on display. I was so tempted to try it out, but I did not. I don't want to get tempted to try to, and you know, to buy it because the M11 is awesome. CL, uh, Q, and then I believe the last one is the SL on display. A lot of, it's really bright in there, so uh, excuse the reflections on the glass. Pretty cool, Summer Cross 75 millimeter cut in half. Here's the like M11 I was talking to you about. Second floor as you climb up, uh, this is the gallery, and I believe because it is Pride Month, uh, July, Anthony Fredrickin, the gay essay, uh, on one side, and then you have, I believe, Sean Black on the other side. And they had a dog in there, his name is Disco, and he was actually wearing, uh, looks like a Leica collar. <laughs> you can see his tag, Disco. On the balcony, top floor and the back side, uh, sitting area, it was super hot during that time, but if it was much cooler, you'd probably enjoy yourself sitting there thinking about if you should get the M11 or not. Uh, nice view of the traffic. And so I needed some time to think about that Oberworth Richard II bag. It was way beyond my budget. So we decided to go and eat down the street, only a three minute walk to Granville. I believe that's the name of the restaurant. Beautiful Aston Martin that was all parked on the side street. And so did some thinking uh, over lunch. A uh, really nice um, place in um, West Hollywood. Really good food as well. The food was like uh, just so delicious. Uh, this is kids uh, grilled cheese. Uh, tasted really good. And my burger was, was amazing. And the kettle chips are fresh and they make them there. Um, but the prices aren't um, bad either. My wife got the Uptown Mac and Cheese. It was super good as well. And she said it's the best mac and cheese I ever tasted. And my daughter Allison really loved the grilled cheese as well. So I was searching for it online and it's actually sold out and B&H sold out on the actual website. Uh, we went to a mall close by, uh, Beverly Center. And I called up Amari and I said, hey, I want to get this bag. And here's me picking up the bag. Ooh. And then Billy has a, where does she pay? Billy has a one. This is the Richard II. Mm-hmm. Which I have I ironically checked on uh, because I was looking at the bag and checked mm-hmm. on the sold out everywhere. Yes. Um, um, that's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for her yeah. something on a chair. I'm like, why is D and H sold out? Everywhere sold out. Everywhere, everywhere, sold, out. everywhere, everywhere sold out of that yeah, bag. I was checking it too because I was like, everyone's sold out of that bag. Yeah. So and now it's sold out here. Huh? Now, now it's sold out here. Yeah, that's our goal. Ooh, and that's because of you. <laughs> yes, you, you bought our only one. Now watch, someone's gonna call about it. And be like, oh my God, do you have the Richard too? It's sold out everywhere. I do, but I don't. <laughs> Some guy from Guam took it. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, I was looking on mobile rides. I looked up the houses. Like, cause you know, I just was like, I know we've had it. And I was just curious what it was like for other sites. Yeah. Next to the cash register was a Master and Dynamic .95 headset. I never saw this uh, before in person. And here is where I tapped to pay almost $1,000. I'm here smiling uh, that I got my new camera bag. The next picture was taken by Amari and she made sure to get the Leica gallery in the photo. So just recently I got a 16 inch MacBook Pro. 
which it had a hard time fitting in my Billingham, uh, I believe this is called Hadley Pro bag, and this is the large one. So it was really snug in here. And I wanted to, and this will be my main computer, by the way, for editing uh, YouTube videos for the channel. Um, this is the MacBook Pro 16 inch uh, M1 Pro, uh, just a base model. Then I got an external storage for two terabyte SSD. So I needed a, a new bag, which I'm going to be using for work and also um, taking this to and from home and work. And I went to Sammy's camera, as you probably saw earlier in the video, and like a camera. And Simon's camera doesn't carry this brand. It is Oberworth. And the nice lady, her name is Amari at Leica Store LA, helped me out. And we determined that uh, this bag, the Oberworth Richard II, is the Leica edition, a Red Out edition, was able to fit this large MacBook. So I'm gonna do like a little unboxing of this bag since there's not that much information about it on YouTube. And she nicely um, put a kind of like a gift wrapping of this bag comes in a nice retail large bag here and this is the bag itself in the dust cover has the name Oberworth on it and the receipt comes in here and the price US was $8.99 plus tax for California, and by the way, you can tell I'm not in Guam anymore. Um, I'm still here in California. Came out to around $991. But what made me want to get this bag is it was sold out everywhere. B&H, Amazon, the main website Overworth didn't have it in stock. And so I got a free like lens cleaning cloth. This is Los, a store in Los Angeles. And also Amari gave me a pretty cool gift, which is uh, like a keychain. And by the way, she's an awesome photographer and I'll put a link in the description below of her work. So let's put this bag down with the receipt again, which comes in here. And so just going to take out the dust cover. And right away, what really made me want this bag, even though it's like uh, past my budget, is the leather the leather felt super super soft and here's a comparison of the billingham uh, pro hadley with the oberworth richard 2 and the tag here says richard 2 and the model number is r2 ls r2751 cowhide and i guess what makes this the leica edition let me just put this to the side. It's the red interior. Now I need to practice opening this. Okay, so you pull. Okay, so you pull this out and it comes out. Two different positions, two different sizes. If you want it snug, a little bit loose. Opening this. And inside is the Leica Red. Really nice strap, and it's padded here. Different design. Feels really, really good quality. Again, the leather is just like so soft. You can, you can see how soft it is. Really thick. And what's cool about it is, oh, and then online I saw that you can attach like keys here. I'm not too sure why I'm gonna attach here, and then you can just put it inside, but uh, small pockets here in the flap you can actually remove the sole insert out. That was a bell quote here. If you want to like be purely business and folders and documents. So in the front, two large pockets, Oberworth documentation, and it's actually signed in by somebody, checked. Almost similar to Leica when they signed the lenses and cameras. This side just protect the padding. Inside, you can see two zippers here. Very large as well. And this is where you actually get to take out the insert. Two, three, one, two, 
three compartments. You can actually fit like an SO2 with a 24 to 90. That's what the website says. This could be maybe lens filters, memory cards. And I think this is for, oh, okay. I assume if you want to close this, I guess you want to close this, protect it from rain, maybe some weather. Nothing here. This is where I actually pull everything out. But this is the laptop compartment, which is padded. And this is, yeah, very thick padding here. So let me just slide in this MacBook Pro 16 inch with a case by UAG. And it just slides in perfectly. Really pad in. And I missed this. Back here is a zipper. I did not know this. Pretty large. Put some papers. Maybe some batteries. And this looks like it's Velcro. Let me zip this up. And this maybe could be, I think maybe you put it on like a carry-on luggage, I'm assuming. Or maybe you can attach like a tripod here. I'm not too sure of the function. I'm guessing maybe carry-on luggage. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, here on the side, small compartment. This is the belt buckle. Looks like maybe you can attach something else here. The other side. And it just smells good. Let's see if you can put this flat back in. Again, similar. Small pocket all the way down. I'm assuming with this, you can maybe attach another um, strap if you want. I'm just assuming, I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is the Oberworth Richard II. I guess this is the latest version of the famous Richard bag. And if I'm carrying a lot of stuff, just use the first one here. And I'm gonna fit everything in here. I'm gonna fit the, actually fit my mouse. The Leica M9P easily put in probably in this side yep just goes in currently shooting with the Canon R5 20 for 105 probably got to adjust it but yeah I can fit there in the top some wireless audio equipment here yeah a lot more room even uh, Canon 51.8 I can put here Lay down. Now, other miscellaneous stuff I can put in the front charger. Chargers actually. I can probably just like throw it in here. Everything's sliding in nicely. But yeah, you can really see the Bellingham did like hold a lot initially. No clipper, batteries. Just throw it all in here. Uh, so let me just see how this feels real quick. Get the pad, the Bellingham didn't have it. Oh, this looks like it's really adjustable. Like you can really extend the strap. It feels the weight doesn't seem as significant as when it was in the Bellingham because I had no padded strap here, but yeah, it feels really good. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do a photo shoot here in California, not too sure. If not, then I'll do one when I'm back in Guam. I need to review the 50 millimeter 1.8 Canon lens and also the Voigtlander 35 millimeter 1.2 version three for the Leica M. Thank you for watching Guam Photography and if you haven't, please subscribe. Okay, I just wanna show you the cool feature of how the whole middle can pull out. So again, okay, nothing's inside here. I'm assuming that you can just close it up like this. Velcro. And detach the whole insert because it's Velcroed in. And just pull up the whole thing. 
Let me see I'm doing this correctly. Yeah. There we go. Wow. So it's a separate bag compartment. And inside, that's it. Then you have the laptop. You can put your documents, folders. And oh yeah, the bottom here is padded. The Billingham. Let me stick my hand all the way in. Just take out the Canon camera. It's padded, but this feels a little bit thicker. And remember, when you put your camera gear in this insert here, it's gonna be even more padded. And this has the insert already, so. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be really well protected um, in this bag. Oh, it's a hidden, hidden slot here. There's a hidden slot here on the side. Another one. I think the more I use this bag, I'm gonna find hidden compartments. 